to my viewers, I'm going to see if I can finish off this switch in the PFC cap bank. Be wanting to have some more fun with that lately. Let's see if I can get enough bank for my buck out of this switch. Okay, I'll set the go. You map side. Set this up a bit. That's on there. Ready to charge. 31. Charging. 410F. Whoa! Good bang! That was epic! Look at that! Damn! Some residual bang left in that one. Sort out safety first. Yes, this ZBS battery pack is holding up very well. It's sustained the current for a lot longer. Sort it out safety first. No hot ZBS. Five out's not even that hot. The warnings aren't that hot. And that's how you finish off a partially um, bad connection light switch. Damn, now that's how you finish one off. A good bang. Have a classic look at that. That boots are sort of way to kingdom come. Safety first, isolated, both positive and negative disconnected. Hard to see that, they're gonna make it look like a little thing with a stand I can actually see in a meter comfortably. That's the next thing I'm gonna work on. Batches are out of the way, they're working fine. Kick ass. And a contactor, that, there's an actual contactor there. The rocker that goes on that contactor is completely vaporized. Look at that. <laughs> that was epic. That's how you finish off a light switch. Blow it to kingdom come. And that was only rated to 10 amps at 240 volt. And I put a hell of a lot more than 10 amps at 240 volt through that. <laughs> epic. Safety first, all shorted out, disconnected. Always be very careful with these sorts of bloody capacitors. They are not toys. Oh yeah, look at that, eh? That's just what I expected. So that wasn't a complete short in that switch then. You can see that the, the original contact had melted the rocker. It got stuck on that plastic and jammed it. That was not bad at all. That was very interesting. There's the other contact on there. First of all, the uh, main bit stayed intact. So I've got some spare screws for more terminal uh, blocks on more clips or switches. Cool. Anyway, let's find something else to blow up. That was quite fun. A clock mechanism, a motor. Off one of the clocks I fixed. It's time for this thing to go bang. Is what I'm going to call a time bomb. Let's see what happens. Zoom out a little bit so you can, yeah, I'll let it zoom it all the way out actually. Come on, it's going to be a ticking time bomb. Quite literally, actually. Papa. Charging. Amazed. It's not by the way I screamed. I never screamed like that before. That was brilliant. Man, now that's what I call a ticking time bomb. Let's time up for that clock. That was impressive. Whew. Man, that was one of the most spectacular bloody EROs of a clock ever. Awesome. Some here. You can just see vaporized metal. That was epic, and that's how you finish off a clock. That was what I call a ticking time bomb. More there. More down there. 
More down there. Where the rest of it went, I don't know. But man, that was epic. I don't even know where the rest of it bloody went. And there you go. Keep your old car batteries. Make Alan batteries and use it for ZVS powers, power supply source. That current was very constant. It wasn't, the batteries weren't dying down as such. Awesome. Safety first. It's char discharge. That's welded to the thing. No heat. Warm windings. Flybacks warm. Yeah, they behave similar to the dual batteries, the way these worked. Because it went to 10 amps and then up to 12, and dipped down to below the 9, 10, and I hovered around there. So these things take a while to charge with a circuit. Yeah, some clock there. Spectacular. There you go, there's a gear there. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. One over there. Where's the rest of it? Let's have a little, little search for all the bits and pieces. Yeah, you can tell by the way I scream like that. I've never... That was a pretty well damn enjoyable experience. The fireworks and how long they lasted. Man, that was awesome. That would have been the whining at the call. Like the clock motor itself that, pulled, that gets pulsed. That did that. Damn, did that look awesome. There's a main gear down there near the battery. Look at that one. More down there. That sort of vaporized metal on it. The spark just flashed it. No, there we are. Look. Okay, so there's a switch. Look at that. The copper vaporized around it. Look at that. Oh, awesome. Well, yeah, look at that. I found all the bits and pieces. There you go, just blew the bloody connections on the circuit board on the chip and the quartz got flashed. No, the quartz didn't blow. Must have just been the flash here that blew. Interesting. The quartz didn't blow. Interesting. The switch and those end bits. Must just have been a small gap in the flash from that that actually did the explosion. But they're, they're not getting charged, they're only getting just low charge, they're not gassing off, so it's safe to do those sorts of sparks around batteries. Bit of safety here. I was going to use that table here to hold that up nice and high, but I ended up doing it the old bucket method seems to work. But that was a spectacular bang. Yeah, that is awesome. This all happened so quick, the parts didn't have time to burn. Interesting, isn't it? I might get around and build my other ZVS. These are my RGBTs. FGA25N120. Same top using induction cooktops. So I'm gonna, when I get a chance, I build another ZVS using these. More power. Bigger resistors, protect the zeners. I think I bought, I think I bought 15 or oh, high uh, voltage zeners. I'm not, I can't remember. I have to check. I think I did. I can uh, write on more batteries then for more power. I'm going to convert this to LM next. 204 cold cranking amps, the highest it goes up to, so. It just it starts a dietary motor all right. Not full crank, but just slow, slowly. But it's good enough to crank it for about a buddy, maybe 30 seconds max before it starts to die down, so. I'll convert it to LM now while it's something pretty good, Nick. Get the most out of that battery. Anyway. That'll be enough for now. Boy, that was the best, most spectacular bang yet in terms of the fireworks left behind. That was awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching.